Okay, this is my part two. I had a part two already recorded that was actually going to be my first video, but I wanted to make it a little more basic. So this is going to be my actual part two. So reading the tape measure. So you have a lot of uses for tape measure. You have a lot of drill bits. They go up to 64 And you have different kinds of tape measures. And you have a lot of uses for tape measure, like measuring nuts and bolts. See what size wrenches you need. And all the standard sizes, the wrenches. But you can measure the uh, measure the nuts and the bolts to see what you need. You can measure for um, for drill bits. So like this one's a quarter inch. You can measure for that. Get measurements for sockets. use it for um, blueprints and like cabinet drawings and house blueprints. It goes by scale so you can measure and then uh, get work it out and get your um, scale there your measurements and stuff. And you tape measure you have uh, like right here you have uh, four quarters or you have eight eighths sixteen sixteenths and not on the tape measure but you have thirty two thirty seconds in one inch and sixty four sixty fourths in an inch. The thirty seconds and sixty fourths though are more for machinery and stuff like that. But basically it breaks it down. You have on um, every little mark on your tape measure is one sixteenth. So I'm still kind of keeping it simple here. So every mark is a sixteenth. Then it goes to one eighth. And then three sixteenths, one quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths, seven sixteenths, half inch. 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, 3 quarter, 13 sixteenths, 7 eighths, 15 sixteenths, and then to your, your final, your 1 inch. With the, um, the tape measures, some of them come with the marks already on them, so it makes it easy to read if you're beginning. And then for somebody like me that's a little more used to it here, I don't like having those. So I can, whichever side of the tape I want to use, I can read my marks real quick and get my measurements. And just showing them, um, like I, there's all kinds of little tricks. Like sometimes I'll use tape to make my marks. Like if I'm using something like this white material, I can take my tape and put it on here. So like at one inch for instance. And then my other piece of trim can go on there and go to my line. And then I don't have to worry about erasing or having a mark that I can't hardly get an eraser to. I do a lot of little tricks like that. Tape is a good way to do it. 
Another little trick that I do too is I'll use tape on dark wood. to get my marks so I can mark something like when I'm doing pools and stuff like that on my cabinets cabinet doors and then I can drill for them you can use on tape that way then too you can uh, just peel your tape off and throw it away and you don't have any marks on the wood itself it's just another little trick that I use using tape and then you don't have to worry about pencil marks. And there's a lot of good there's a lot of good videos on YouTube for use tricks using the tape measures and all kinds of other little tricks and all kinds of carpentry stuff. And just remember that the very tips here are have just a little bit of play in them and that's normal that's for if you're putting your tape onto something it gives you an accurate measurement or if you're buttoning up to it this way it keeps your measurements accurate because it's got that little bit of play in it and then like these like this is a one inch a one inch wide tape so I can run it way out and not have it um not have it bending and breaking on me or bending on me and falling down. So the wider tape measures do that. Like where if you have a thin tape measure you can uh, you have to hold it up pretty good. And like I was saying in my other video, if, if you need to make a cheat sheet, you can make your little cheat sheet and make all your marks. Make all your marks and uh, just draw it out and print it out or, or keep it in your pocket. So you can make your little cheat sheet and keep it in your pocket. Just remember though the 60 fourths and 30 seconds are not on the tape measure. The 30 seconds would be every little mark in between. Will be every 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 little space in between your marks is a 30 second. If you were to need to get that accurate. So I'm trying to keep this pretty simple and basic. So that's going to be my part two.